G'day. So what we've got here is Edison. And in Edison, we're going to grab our sample. Put our sample in now. That's the normal wave view. And this is spectral view. Right, pressing S. Now at the front there, you see I've got a lot of noise. So I'm just going to trim it down. Out there. Up at the front. All that noise at the front. That's what we're trying to eliminate. So what we do, first of all, we find a vacant bit of noise, which is a bit of noise without those little clips. And that's the noise we're trying to stop. I normalize that. All right, so we find a little bit there. Yep, that bit there. We go to tools. Down there, next to clean up, denoise, which is control U. And we acquire the noise profile. Click that. Now we've got it in our little clipboard. So now we have to apply that to the entire sound piece. So go control U to get the denoiser up, make sure it's all on and active. Usually I just hit reset a few times. After that, hit accept. The bottom left will show you it's denoising. The bigger the file, the longer it takes. And there, it's all black. The black is silence. Now we'll normalize this again. Let me... It sounds a bit weird. That's because it's all normalized. What we'll do is we'll do it once more. So we press Alt U to get a clip of what we need. And now that that's on the clipboard, we deselect everything and go accept. With our new little silent bit, that should get rid of every perfect black. Let me catch my breath. Uh, just touch this bit up. Let me take that's better. That's a lot better. Then, then, Oop. Uh, a bit too much, I think. Yeah, yeah. Me. Yeah, there's another way to do it. It's just you can amp this as well, tools, amplify, and just turn the volume to center, which is zero. It says up the top left, up there. Center is zero, which is mute. Go accept. Now all that's muted. Uh, the only other way to do it is just delete. but you won't get any denoising happening over the vocals.